Let's see what these people think about it, all right? No. Oh my gosh! Holy crap, I dropped it in the water! What is up, guys? Today, we're gonna go fishing! Ah, jeez! Okay, um, that was a bad idea. Okay, so maybe we're not going fishing. And if I had to depend on my fishing skills, for me to survive and eat, I would starve to death because I stink at fishing. Instead, we're gonna turn this bad boy into a fishing lure tumbler. Ooh, doesn't that sound nice? I had a subscriber named Alan Bates. He said he really loves using silver. I was either gonna use white or do like a yellow to orange fade, but then I thought, well, I'm using yellow and orange on the color part. I'm gonna do, take his advice, and use metallic silver. Okay, now we're ready. Look at that beautiful silver shine. It looks like a chrome or something. That is nice. The next step is we're gonna put our, our stocking on there. Where did I put that thing? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, that flip flop off. There we go. Okay, now we're ready. What I did is I took and stretched it almost as far hard as I can, taped it down here to the post, and then even wrapped around the bottom so it wouldn't move any. I don't want this to move in my steps of coloring. I think I wanna do it this way. This is gonna be the very top. Next color, faded to the green, yellowish towards the belly, and the very bottom is gonna be this orangey color. You do whatever color you want. I've seen all kinds of colors these things. You could do like a neon, and then drizzle dizzle, and then do the black. That would totally work. Anything, just have just, hey, be creative. Use five of my videos. Just pick them, close your eyes, pick them, and then do all those at the same time. And then come up with something new. And we'll all be like, oh my gosh, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, let's go. All right. Kind of got me a little out of breath shaking all those. First color is the Satin Lagoon. We're just going to do one stripe. That's going to be my top. Well, if I can aim right. That should be good. Next color. What ifs? I think that'd be cool right there. That'd look nice. Let's see if I can get this even. You can always go back. Except for the fluorescents, they're kind of transparent-y. Ooh, I about hit my tumbler. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a nice, look at that fade right there. That's sick. I guarantee a fish sees this mug, he's gonna be like trying to bite it because it's so hot looking. Let me go ahead and do my orange from a straight bottom. Ooh, that's bright. Yeah, let's do a little more right there. The rest of it's going to be yellow, easy peasy. Fade over the orange a little bit because it'll look cool. Fade it over the orange because it's transparent. And when you get in the green, wow, look at that. Oh, I got to figure out what I'm going to do the bottom. I think I'm just going to carry these colors and try to point them in the middle, eh? What do you think? I don't know. I don't think it really matters, do you? I don't think it matters. You just splatter it. Yeah, whatever. And orange for the bottom. Boom. Let's let that dry. Before we pull this off, it's got to be completely dry. Be patient. Go do something else. Forget about it. It's not worth it, man. Come on. Pull yourself together. And we'll be right back. A few hours later. All right. I have been patiently waiting, wanting to get this off. But I didn't want to do it without you guys being involved because I know it's going to be so satisfying to see that silver pop out under here. And now I just... Work it off and slowly reveal. Oh, oh, I see some good things happening already. I would, seriously, but it's stuck on the tape. Get off the tape. Okay, here we go. I think I'm ready. Are you ready to see the magic? Oh, oh yeah. That's oh, when that silver hits that blue. Oh, that's sick. That is nice looking. Ooh, it's kind of stuck. Try to it. Oh man, that left a nice print. <whistles> stuck to it pretty good. Wow, okay. Rub that off. It's got some over spray and stuff. So now I got some little eyeballs to put on there. You might be wondering, where's the pupil part? I'm just gonna draw that on with a Poshka marker as well as these things. Like you could use vinyl, sure, whatever. Do we do you, whatever you want to do. If you're not confident in drawing on this, then by all means, just use vinyl. But I want it to be organic and I don't care if it's perfect and symmetrical on both sides, you know, who cares? It's a fish, it's natural, it's in, it's in nature. And then of course, uh, we're gonna do some embellishing with some airbrush. So let's put this the eyeballs on right now voila there we go look at that holographicness it hits every single color in this thing as 
Beautiful. Next, we're going to take our Pushka, Pushka? I don't even know how to say this, marker, and I'm going to color in this part, and I'm going to do a line here, and then I'm going to do these things, whatever you call them. So, check it, let's go. I love working with these Pushka markers, and if you want to try them, I got a link in the description to the fatties, or the big ones, and the little ones. You remember, I've, I've used these on those shoes in this video right here. Now, if you're not confident doing this, then then just use vinyl but it doesn't have to be perfect you can start on the inside and work your way out to the till you get to the edge hey go out of your comfort zone try something new try something different practice on something else before you go for the big deal so all i'm doing is basically outlining my vinyl and this dries super quick you see look look at that let's focus look at how quick that's drying you see the edge is already drying already what these markers are the bomb and it's i'm trying to do it where you guys can see and me still be able to see where i'm drawing but the thing i love about doing it this way is see how it's not exactly perfect That's what I like. I like organic, grungy, textured, natural stuff. Like I said on the dragon video, wait, did the dragon video come out yet? Yeah, yeah, come out last week or week four. I don't know. Remember I talked about on the dragon video, you don't want your dragon, whoops, I got a little wide there because I'm talking, not concentrating. We'll just make that a little fatter. No big deal. Don't worry about it. But the dragon video, remember I talked about you don't want his scales looking all neat and perfect and put some scratches on, make him look like he went to war or something, give him a story. So now what I want to do is draw his little gillies and this is the bottom. So just go for it, man. Just don't be here. Let me get the fatty. I think the fatty would work better on this because I don't want to, I think it'll work quicker. So I don't want two skinny lines. So just draw a point, little moon shapes, draw another one. Right about here. Just whatever. Just whatever you think it should look like. Look at some reference pictures. Look at some real lures. I like to, when I do that, I like to put a point and make it cool like that. Just do a bunch of shapes like this, working all the way down. Look how well these markers draw on this. This is so sick. I love these things. All right, so now we're gonna take this little reefy looking stencil and I wanna blow some yellow on his belly. Like just like some cool little markings, nothing crazy, just something different to take it to the next level, just to do some extra little details. And I tried to do this with alcohol ink. I mixed yellow and white to make it a little more opaque, but still you can see right here where it did it. I just deleted that footage because it doesn't even work. No need to show you. I'll just show you the mess up. So it doesn't work because the orange is so dark compared to the yellow. So I mixed up a little bit of Createx white and yellow together and I'm just going to blow a few spots hold it tight so you get a nice little just do some random spots it doesn't have to be a lot just do a little ch -ch -ch here ch -ch 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 there you see where it's covering up right there you see just the little variation in it which is cool just do I mean you don't have to do this I'm just trying to show you guys options if you think it's ugly don't do it you know just a little few little ch -ch -ch, which is cool do as many as you want as you you can go back with yellow or orange or whatever color you want. I don't care. Just do you. I'm just trying to show you guys some stuff you can do to help you to think outside the box. You know what I'm saying? Free your mind up to do some cool things that you might be thinking. To think of how can I make this awesomer or better. Play with it till you're happy and then move on. See, I just like that. I think it's cool. Do as much as you want, as low as you want. I don't care. Don't do any. Whatever. I just like showing you. Look at that. That's that's fish right there all day. What? Look at that. I'm like swimming around almost. Okay, for the top, I have another cool texture effects stencil. I've mixed up some navy. Whoa, what happened to my thumb? What the heck? My idea is to do a strip down the middle so that I don't lose much of this color because I really like it. Oh, by the way, you might be wondering what I'm sitting this on is my pen pal. If you want a pen pal, hit the link in the description and uh, use code Duncan20. She gives you 20% off because she's awesome. So you're welcome. So let's 
Hold this. Wow, that's gonna be hard. My arms are so shaky from going to the gym. Get swole! Find the middle. Boom, look at that. Oh, that is so sick. I might go a little wider because I really like that. Dude, that is cool. And there's so many different, look at the shapes and sizes you get on this stencil. Uh, hit the Amazon, link in the description to get you all these stencils I'm using. It's really hard to hold it steady. So I'm gonna put it in my lap. All right, so welcome to my lap. You know how we roll with the socks and sandals. Yee yee. This is much better. Now I can use two hands. I can hold it firmly and then just spray away. I like this. This thing's sick. So just go like that. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Just work your way down. Do it however you want. Nobody's going to judge you. It doesn't matter. This is going to be sick. Look at that. That is so cool. I'm just going to finish this up and uh, I guess I'll sign the bottom. All right. Now that I got the blue the way I want it. I did a little more than I was planning on, but it's really hard to stop yourself when it's going so good. It's looking so fantastic. I took my white Poshka marker, put a little highlight on his eye, give him some life, you know, and I signed the bottom. Next step is to let that dry, and then we're gonna hit it with our Mate Clear A, and then a Pukse with the new Alumilite Quick Coat. If you hadn't seen this, like where you been? I don't know, but this stuff is fantastic. It's so fast, makes work so much quicker. There's a link in the description for you to get that, and a discount code, Duncan10, get 10% off. Dude, do that. Do yourself a favor, try this stuff. The Quick Coat is ridiculous. So I'm so fast now, like All right, so. Here's the epoxy and here's what it looks like. So I'm gonna get some real fishermen's reactions to see if this fishing lure would pass the test. Hey, excuse me, you fish? Oh yeah. You got a fishing boat. You uh, ever seen a fishing lure before? Yeah. Do you think this would pass as a fishing lure? Pass the test? No? Ah, oh, we'll keep going. <laughs> All right. So that guy obviously wasn't a real fisherman. He was just pretending to be one. He's obviously never seen a lure before. So let's keep finding some real fishermen and see what they think. All right, there's some people down this one. Let's go check and see what they think about ye old fishing lure tumbler. Let's check this one right here. Excuse me, would you be willing to help me out? You fish? Yes. Let's see if fishing lines are, you know. You ever seen a fishing lure before? Yes. Would you be qualified to tell me if you think I made this tumbler to look like a fishing lure? Yes, it looks just like one. You've used one of these before? No. You catch a big one with this one. <laughs> That's insane. Thank you. I appreciate it. You Thank have a good you. day. You're welcome. All right, we got another fisherman right here. Let's see what he thinks. What do you think about that? Does it look like a fishing lure to you? It's good. I hate to see the bass. Hey, I catch a big one on it. I found the hook. There's the hooks right there. You <laughs> there right. you go. Hey, you gotta yeah. have the hooks. You, well, you bet you. You can't pull them in if you ain't no. got hooks in them. Pull Just be careful when you take a drink. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day. All right. Let's see what these people think about it, all right? Oh, oh my gosh! Holy crap, I dropped it in the water! Oh, oh. I got it! I got it! Oh my gosh! Uh, uh, okay. Okay, so I think we've had enough reactions. I think it's time to go home. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you liked the tumbler. And, uh, I'm gonna go get dried off.